everyone, this is Glenda Marks and I'm here to show you my Alice in the Wonderland mini album. Uh, it took me approximately two months to finish this project. Mostly the time consuming part was designing the characters like this one right here. Designing the clothes that they're going to wear, the size and um, the design of the of the character in itself. Everything is paper paste in this um, mini album and this is an 8x8 eight eight, uh, mini album. I made it out of cardstock and um, let's begin. As you can see here, here's Alice. I hand drew her face and her eyes. I used Jelly Roll pens to glitter and and I used some of the Lindsay Stamp Gang uh, products and then I put glossy accents to give it a gleam to her eyes and she's wearing little pearls right here, necklaces and earrings and she has a bow in her hair hand curled it the dress I designed it myself all the lace and the trim you see here is made out of paper and she has pearl buttons on her dress the apron I drew little blue flowers on the apron and uh, that's Alice right there. The background I used uh, just a pink paper nothing special and I just wanted to keep it simple and I used an iron gate that from my Cricut um, it's ornamental iron or something like that's called. And then here are my flowers. Again I used a face mold but this one's from the Sculpey mold called um, Art Face Doll and I did not paint the paper clay I decided to leave it like a blank canvas and I like the contrast of the white with the colorful colors of the flowers it just tied in very well and they're all asleep right now except for one so I curled the leaves in to hide the little faces and this one has black eyes which are little beads that one's sleeping too and the big one I used some of um, K and Company adhesive uh, butterfly and bird, and this is also from Cricut. A die cut. Uh, I can't remember the uh, cartridge right at this moment. I think it's sentimental cartridge. And then I just used this trim. I sprayed it with Lindsay Stamp Gang. Uh, What's it called? I can't remember, but it's a pink one, the only pink one I have. Uh, Ramblin' Rose, I think it's called. And that's the front page. And the album is called Greeting from Wonderland. So that's the first page. And then I'm going to have to use the camera here because it's kind of bulky and it's hard to see on the pages. Alright, that's my first page right there. Yeah, it says right there in my handwriting, Alice in Wonderland. I'm trying to get the most natural lighting as possible, so I'm right in front of my patio door. And I have some plastic flowers here. And this paper line is from uh, Sweet, Sweet Nectar from Kane Company. Here's another Alice. A little bit different than the one on the cover. All paper pieced and room for photos. This book is kind of childish because it's meant for a children mini album so it has kind of the cutesy side on it. <laughs> cutesy side of, of my art. Um, this is the, the room where she falls into and she sees a tiny door and she sees a small garden. Um, in this case obviously I could not make the table so big but I made a small one here with a key and a little drink me bottle. Then I did some crown molding here. <laughs> and here's the door, also from Cricut. I sprayed it with, you can see the gleam there. I sprayed it with uh, Lindsay Stamp Gang products. The one that has the moon shadow, I think they're called. Lamb Doer Green, I think it's called. And I have a little doorknob here. That's from a Tim Holtz knob but the key hold I made it out of aluminum foil, thick aluminum foil that I have and I embossed it to make my own keyhole. So 
We'll open the door. And just like Alice, we will see a little miniature land. Sorry that I'm moving all around a lot, but I can't figure out a, a better way so you can get a good look at this album. And here's the little la the little garden that she sees. Let me zoom in so you can see it better. Oh, sorry, it's taking a while. Okay, here it is. There it is. You will see like little butterflies and dragonflies. There's birds and little leaves on the on the trees. Little butterflies. There are the rose bushes right there. You'll see like a little frog on the rocks. Leaves. This paper is uh, one of those uh, 12 by 12 you can purchase at Joann's that looks like water. So that tied in perfectly with the theme here on my pop-up. And there's a little frog there, butterflies. There's another little butterfly, and I cut grass and give it a three-dimensional look to the garden. Really cute. It's really small. Look, show you with my finger. <laughs> it's really small. If you were wondering how I did such itty bitty flowers and 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 butterflies and birds and stuff. Those are um, punches that you purchase at the $1 section at the Michaels um, bin. I know that some Michaels ca uh, carry them, not all of them. Usually the people think they're only like used to make confetti. But as you can see, I made a miniature scene here. Okay, so. So she falls into the, into the, oh, my cat's running around. She, uh, she finds the cake, right? And um, she wants to um, grow big again. So in this case, I made little pastries here. They are made out of paper clay. Let me zoom in so you can see the pastries. Okay. A little chocolate pastry right there. And then there's the one with the swirls. That's a cupcake. And then a little cake here that I made that says, eat me. Paper clay. I made this. Couldn't find any embellishments that look yummy. <laughs> so I made my own. She's holding a cookie in her hand right here. And I made the dress again and I made her. Each of my Alice's are a little different from the other. So she eats the cake and I'm going to have to move back. Sorry, I'm moving a lot and she grows <laughs> okay I have to move back 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 there she is so she grows her legs grow and her neck just like in the story and I thought a slider card would be perfect to imitate that part of the story so it goes back in this took t this took time to design and cut to make sure everything fits but it was well worth it I think I put the hair back in there but it fits okay I had a lot of fun making that page now the rabbit the white rabbit I paper cut his jacket he has a little button here and a little pocket watch And I put flock on him to give him this, you know, you can touch him and feel that he's soft, furry. I will have to stop here and continue the second part of my Alice in Wonderland mini. Okay, so um, watch part two. It's well worth it. Bye.